Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 23 of Vlogmas. Yeah, Whew. we're almost there. We're almost there. And I'm not happy about it because that means like all of this wonderful Christmas spirit is gonna be gone pretty soon. I mean, yeah, we will have the Christmas days, but uh, it's not like when I was a child, like the Christmas days are not that special anymore to me at least. Well, today is actually the first day um, off for me, so I'm not working today, which is nice, but I actually planned this day a little bit different because I always want to have like the 23rd off for like wrapping all my presents and like kind of relaxing in the Christmas spirit still. But like today I will have to like go all over the place and do or all sorts of different things which was not planned but hey it's it's what it is <laughs> uh, I have already wrapped a couple of presents yesterday in the evening and I'm not uh, like seeing most of my family until the 25th so there's still time for, for some of the rest of the presents for the people that I just see on uh, Christmas Day directly so no problem so I still dedicated time today um, for filming this vlogmas video together with you opening up the last parts of my um, advent calendars I mean not the last last but there's not a lot of left not a lot of them left so yeah 23 that's down here I already discovered it yesterday when I was searching for the 22 <laughs> and I thought ah that's actually the 23 so what is it is it a pin or is it a yeah okay that feels like a pin <laughs> For a change, so that's a Disney pin and it's very round. So I guess it's one of the villains Mickey head shaped pins. So let's see, find out what it is. Really excited. I actually also don't know how many pins we have left because I still have the 24th and the 25th. If there's still like two pins or is there actually like one like accessory missing that I put in? Anyways, what is this for today? Very good! It's a Queen of Hearts! Oh, that looks amazing! Colorful, iconic, and I mean, I, I never really said that I have a Alice in Wonderland collection, but kind of have a little bit. Yeah, I also, this is kind of probably my, fir my like, favorite, favorite pin from like all of this. Um, vlogmas so far and this goes very well with it and I have a couple of other Alice pins and Alice in Wonderland was one of my childhood favorite Disney movies and yeah that looks amazing interesting the shape of the of the Mickey hat now I mean it has kind of this additional color to it here which makes it like the whole shape a little bit different but we also had this with you know uh, Ursula, for example, also gets a completely different shape there. Oh, that's a really cool one. I love that. Good one. Good one. I think from the villains, like one, two, three, four. There should be, well, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think there should be at least one more villain pin in there, like from these Mickey shape. Mickey head shape ones because it was a like pouch of five mystery pins so at least one of them must be in there how many attractions one two three also four now we have all five attraction pins already then the two of the like bigger attraction pin like where just two were in I'm just saying and all of the Star Wars pins okay that kind of means we I think we only have one pin left and there must be in one of those days another accessory okay outlook for the next two days I guess I could be wrong when I counted wrong but I don't think so I think that's correct let's continue with the pony chocolate calendar not a lot of doors left because that one definitely just goes until the 24th which will be tomorrow and today is the 23 Ta -da. I have to say it's really good to have long nails <laughs> for opening this calendar. Yep. Okay, this time the chocolate does not come out all the way. Okay. 
what is that? Okay, that one does not want to come out at all. Now it is. Hmm? Is it an angel? No. It's not an angel. What is this? Hmm? Huh? Like, I don't get it. What actually is this? Is it a Santa sack with a scarf around it? Or, or am I just like... No, I cannot see what it is, honestly. If you know what that is, tell me. Uh, what pony do we have? Oh, really cute. A Pip. Can you even see behind there? There she is. Oops. By the way, I want to actually show you, um, yeah, like yesterday's uh, present from, from Miku. You, you saw that one, you know, the uh, G2, My Little Pony, uh, kind of peep at. And um, I kind of have like at least gotten it to um, kind of work, but now I don't really get it together again, but at least I want to show you. It was correct that you had to like, like push the button. Also Mikuru told me in the comments, but like that was when I had already done it, but now I don't get it back together to be quite honest. Um, no, now no it is, okay, I think now it is. You have to push this pretty hard. Great, now it, now it doesn't work anymore. Ha! Clack! So, tuck. And then you can like really. Uh, turn this little. Oh, oh my goodness, you didn't even see that. Sorry. Um, you have to turn this little thing and then it gets like all the way to the sides. And here's the rainbow. That's how it actually looks. Just wanted to show you pretty cute and then when you turn it uh, this little button thingy wheel it's not a wheel but you have to turn it you don't have to push it it looks like a button you don't have to push it uh, you have to you can push it I don't know but then you can like like pull it the other way around and it gets like pulled together again Not that easy to show you here but ta-da now it's back push the button maybe maybe it it's like it doesn't always work but like at least you saw it no it doesn't want to work again you saw it at least i think it's a little bit stuck but the the clue is push this button then it gets open then you have to like turn it one way around it gets to the sides and you have to turn it the other way around then it, you can push it back together um, probably will make uh, another little shelf for more g2 ponies like uh, can you see actually behind there there are two shelves with g2 ponies the ones that are not really there they don't have lights uh, and there's one on top which just has like my Petra family and just three dolls in that shelf I can put them somewhere else put this in there and then have a little like um, you know diorama like with with this a canopy bed open and more space for more G2 ponies that would look really really cute but uh, let's get actually to um, get a calendar here there 23 and it again feels very, very flat, so... Um, pony accessory maybe, again? Ah, yeah, it is! Oh, one of those. It's a comb. I hope that doesn't get boring to you, but like, because to me it's really absolutely not boring. This is another accessory, a brush, a comb for G1, my little pony. This is one of the long uh, combs that not a ton of ponies had. So it's not, you know, one of the most used shapes. Hence why I don't have a lot of them because they were not like used for many, many different pony lines. They're actually very cute. Um, also, not a lot of people when they just, you know, sometimes people sell 
toy brushes and combs and whatever um, in, in lots with Barbie combs blah 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 not a lot of people that are not really into My Little Ponies will like really know that this is a My Little Pony comb because it looks very it looks a little bit more generic you could think this is a Barbie comb or something you know the 80s Barbie combs and a similar shape so um, let's find out which pony it actually goes to okay this time I can a hundred percent identify <laughs> and I only took out one pony for you and that is brilliant bloom yeah so these combs are mostly uh, were mostly used uh, for I don't know if also for the brush and grow ponies but for the princess brush and grow ponies for some of the later ponies like the talking ponies but I mostly have them like in my brain for like you know the brush and grow style ponies um, yeah and it's the one from Brilliant Bloom there are like three different you know mint minty green shades but this is definitely the lightest one I'm 100% sure it's also very possible because these ponies were released here and um, ah this is such a beautiful color combination like this whole pony set the Brush and Grow Princess Ponies are one of my absolute favorites. Um, look at them. They have tinsel hair. They have a gemstone on her forehead. They have the Brush and Grow, you know, growing tail. Ta-da! They are so beautiful. Mine has a very ugly yellow spots here and also here somewhere yeah here you can't see them here you definitely can see them it never bothered me at all um like when she's in my display and they have gotten pretty expensive lately i mean when i was buying them maybe in 2020 or whenever that was um they were already not the cheapest cheapest ponies but i still got them for around like maybe 15 euro or something I have seen people, I mean, A, I have not seen them so often as of lately, so the normal brush and grows are more common, I would say, um, and yeah, kind of scares me that like for actually normal ponies, the prices are getting so high, um, and I mean, I already felt like, oh, I have gotten in actually too late, because like when I would have gotten like more full force in pony collecting in like, I don't know, like 10 years ago already uh, because I actually started collecting ponies in 2013 but I didn't go to flea markets for example and I just bought a couple of ponies online here and there really really randomly and uh, if I would have gone to flea markets back then that would have been probably amazing um, but I'm still happy that I got into collecting more like in late 2019 and then full force 2020 instead of when you're getting into collecting now, where people want sometimes like, I don't know, like 30 euro for a very, very common pony, where I'm just like, okay, back then I paid like 10 or 12 maybe. And yeah, not gonna talk about when you maybe found ponies um, 10 years ago at flea markets for like next to nothing. And it's really like this, Barbies you find at flea markets from that era all the time, 80s, 90s. Ponies? You don't. At least not here. Um, but anyways, um, Brilliant Bloom, a wonderful pony. Uh, if you've watched my uh, Vlogmas series last year, these ponies were, were like a very common theme in my Vlogmas videos last year because I got all of those um, um, I love you hair barrettes in my calendars last year. I don't know if these are the exact ones to her but they are yeah mm. because they came with lots of like hair accessories like these two and also with two comb and brushes so like this the comb and actually one of also those long handled brushes so I don't know I have a yellow one maybe I have that one it could also be the lighter yellow that I have and yeah these are the two so she's getting more and more complete. Ah yeah, and today let's finish off with another one. Uh, like not, not necessarily a pony, but could also be another toy from my box. 
yeah so this will be the last time I grab into this um, bag here which are all purchased uh, I purchased all of those toys there on my own um, just never got around to show you in other uh, like unboxing videos and still I am not able to finish off in vlogmas because tomorrow um, I will oh no actually I think on the 25th we can also reach in here again but in, on the 24th tomorrow I will have two other packages um, and the as I said the last ones that are still remaining in here because there's at least five or six or something in there uh, I will open up in a different um, video which I would probably call like uh, vlogmas leftovers or something like that um, and I will include another package in there because yesterday something else reached me uh, with also ponies in there so that will be a whole other uh, video then but for today let's just oh fun this is not a pony it's actually a doll Oh my goodness, her hairstyle is destroyed. I have to do it new <laughs> because she was laying in there for so long. This is actually one of the little secrets from Mattel. They are a little doll line from the uh, 90s. I don't want to actually say early 90s. I think they were released 93 till 95. So I don't know if you still count that early 90s, but they are in that wonderful, cute, very girly look they have these huge hairdos they most of them have i think tinsel in their hair they have these cute faces and they have sculpted on clothes so you cannot uh, remove their clothes i think they are several different styles i think three or whatever different um, styles of clothes um, or four even and then in different color combinations so like this dress you have then in, I mean, three other com color combinations and there's, I think, four different styles of dresses. But like, so it's not a fashion doll. You can also only um, move her head, nothing else. The rest is not really, not articulated at all. Um, and the feature uh, actually was that, I mean, they're called Lil Secrets. So it sounds a little bit similar to like, like Lil Miss or something, but no Lil Secrets. And yeah, the secrets <laughs> is like what their kind of theming was because they had in their hair, in between this this kind of troll updo here, uh, they had little like hidden um, things in there, like I think charms, little charms that you can then take out and oh, wow, surprise, it's this charm and you can wear it around your neck, it's a necklace or something like that. Obviously, I don't have any of the charms or any of the things that she came with um, they oh yeah, I have to get the styles again they had all of these high updos and then they always had a cute little like you know with these twirly things not, not I mean I, this one I just put on myself now but um, similar like hair bands with little uh, curly I don't even know what they are called uh, things and not all of them are this pastel but they are all in very very colorful they don't look realistic or anything and this one oh this is probably the, my favorite of the ones that i have i think it's the third one um and i honestly i i got this again for very cheap because this is from the same seller that i got the pony um, um the pony apron for the schlemmer ponies for the uh, cookery ponies and this petra like um Dream, it's not called Dream Glow, but the Petra Night Sky, Night Star, um, you know, pink baby dress and blanket that glows in the dark. That one also comes from the same seller. And for all of these three items, I just paid three euro fifty together. Um, yeah, I actually am often searching for these. But whenever people know what they are called, when you really search for, you know, little secrets, then people want maybe like 40 euro or something for, for such a small doll and like, no, <laughs> thanks, or maybe like 25 or whatever. Um, mm -mm. So I only get them when people don't know what they are and they just have them in a random bunch of little small dolls or something, like it was here. 
one of the ones I have I found at a flea market and then when there was another one that I also got off of Vinted like two years ago also in super random like little little doll or something just named so not under the real name um, that's why my collection isn't bigger of them otherwise I would have more because they are really really my my style my vibe uh, I really kind of love that they have sculpted on clothes you can't lose them you can't lose the shoes etc because this is not meant as a fashion doll like with Barbie of course I love that they have interchangeable clothes I love Barbie fashions um, but this is not the, 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 the purpose of this doll, so they are just pastel and cute and small um, and very unique with their, you know, when, they, when you do the hair. Also, the hair in the middle isn't really rooted that well, so you should uh, really um, put them in this <laughs> up too. Uh, yeah, so little secrets, Mattel, early to mid 90s. Um, and there were also a couple of other like little secrets that were really small that were like came in like two packs of like um, twins or something. I don't like those so much. They were I think the latest uh, released ones. I really like the typical ones. So always happy to have those. And like oh, look at this face again and the tinsel hair and it has this little this is kind of the symbol this s for secrets and her color scheme is just to die for mm, love this and her hair is really good condition very very shiny so so today we had a little array of different things a little bit of pony a little bit of other toys and a cool disney pin so um as today as i said i'm kind of have to go all over the place and do different things i actually don't know when i have time to really edit this video probably also just in the evening again so it kind of the same as if i would like go to the to, to the office and the video goes up probably a little later and oh oopsie i completely forgot um yeah i've already put my uh, tripod away um <laughs> that's why i'm holding the camera now in my hand <laughs> i completely forgot today is actually also a day when two videos will go up yep <laughs> um, so I don't know when this one here will 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 turn turn up on your uh, YouTube feed, but uh, maybe even before that one, um, there will be a toy hunting video. Yeah, a real toy hunting video. Actually, not a flea market video, but uh, thrift stores or toy stores, whatever. I'm uh, showing you what I found at Uncle Phillips, and uh, I went to another shop where I didn't find anything, but still gonna show it to you. It's a quite long video it's like one hour and 50 minutes or something so you definitely have something to watch other than this um, yeah thank you <laughs> for um, staying until the end to hear this information there will be two videos today I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and following along with my vlogmas series uh, please enjoy the last bits of it um, see you real soon and may the toys be with you Bye!